Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to resize an image for the web in Photoshop. So pretty much all Photoshops are the same. I'm working with Creative Cloud 2014. Uh, here's my image. It's already open. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into Photoshop. The icon will pop open the image on its own instead of going through File, Open, all that stuff. So. Okay, here's my image. It's a fairly large image. Pull up the dimensions here. To actually get to this, you can go to image, image size, or you can just hit command option I, same thing. And from here, we want to adjust the width of this image. I have this little lock here. Make sure that this is uh, locked so it's proportionally scaling your image and then you just need to know the width that your website supports so with retina ready websites you want to do double the width that you would normally do so if it needs to show up as 500 pixels wide then you're going to want to put 1000 pixels right so in this case uh, we're I'm not resizing this for retina ready devices I'm just resizing it for what I need so uh, 995 is the website requirements for showing images on a responsive website that I have and that's pretty much it then I'll just hit OK it will resize so if I hit command 0 this is going to bring up the image in the actual size that it will appear on the website. Okay, let's see. Or, or pretty close to it. So here's the image. One other thing I want to double check is the color profile. So go to edit, convert to profile, and just verify that the profile that is existing is sRGB you wouldn't want it to be in CMYK, RGB, 1998, anything like that. You want it to be web ready. So if it's not, then create the destination for sRGB. Click here and then hit OK. And the rest should uh, should follow. It should convert it to the correct color profile for the web. Uh, once that's done, you're, you're all set. Now you just need to save it out. So there's a few ways to save out your image. You can do a simple Command Shift S, uh, which is just going to give you some minimal options here for saving. Uh, this is good if you want a quality version, uh, a JPEG or or something fast, but but not really compressed for the web. So I'm going to cancel this and instead hit Command Option Shift S. Um, another way to get to that is file save for web so what we did before was save as and what we're doing now is save for web okay and now I have my image here let's make sure we have JPEG selected let's put this to high you can do very high so high or very high both are pretty good um, what I'm going for is I, I want the image size, right? So like if I click maximum, you can see down here in the left hand corner, this becomes 510 kilobytes. So now it's on just very high and it's 228. So you definitely want this to be a small file size, but you also don't want it to um, lose a ton of quality so that's decent I'll, I'll accept it um, if you can get it lower great but um, that should be good everything else here convert to sRGB monitor color progressive unchecked optimized checked uh, we don't need to embed anything we don't need blur we don't need matte um, between 70 to 80 in quality is fine the color monitor preview is good, copyright and contact info, 
you can just leave that. It's just um, putting the metadata into the image so you, you kind of know where it came from. And everything else is good. I'm going to hit save and then it's going to ask me, okay, where do you want to save this? For now, just do desktop. And I want to name my image. So based on the the website you're using and the, the terms you're going for. You, for web, you, you want to use all lowercase and you want to be sensitive to keywords in your file name. So if this were to be searched online, what would I want people to search to find it? So you could do CrossFit Coach, right? So I'm titling my image CrossFit Coach and I'm not putting any spaces. If I need a space, I'm putting a hyphen and no caps. And now I'm going to hit save. Great. And if I look at my desktop, I have here my image saved for the web at 995 pixels wide. And my file name is now CrossFit Coach. So I am all set and done.